Hey guys, it's me Chandrik and today I want to do a guide, an interesting and unfamous uh, guide for Arataki Ito. So yeah, uh, overall I'll say Ito is good but he sometimes kind of like uh, a lot of process you need to go through like quite long so sometimes if you messed up it kind of make him not really confident but overall he's a good DPS though. So yeah, let's get started. So let's start first with the Ito uh, talents because Ito talents a lot to explain. I just make it very short compared to others. So basically in here the normal attack is pretty unique. Whenever the second or fourth strike hit the enemy, they will Ito will get a uh, one or two stack, and then you can um, get the stack until five uh, stacks for the maximum. And then how to consume the stack? You need to do the charge attack. So the charge attack will perform a very long combat compared to other claimers. Kind of long and very kind of cool. It will consume one stack. So whenever you charge, do the charge attack, you will not consume any stamina, which is good. So yeah, it just consume the stack. So whenever your stack is gone and you do the charge attack, it will just perform like same the normal charge attack like the other claimer and using stamina also. So let's move to the elemental skill, which is the summoning like this cute cow and then actually very strong compared to other pet like Goba and Oz. So basically in here like same it's like it's Geos construct same like uh uh Zhong Li Tower or Ningguang Wall something like that and it has couple effect which is taunting the enemy also the HP pace on Ito max HP so Ushi also take when Ushi take the match they will it will gain a stack also every two seconds which is good and also when Ushi is gone it will give Ito also one more stack. So actually, Ushi is very uh, good also to give a lot of stack to the Ito itself. And very strong. I'm not kidding. It's very strong uh, skill. See? The skill damage is so strong. And now move to the burst itself. So the burst is technically quite similar with the Raiden Shogun uh, elemental burst. So basically, it's convert Ito normal charge attack, plunging anything to geo damage though. And cannot be overridden by others like Shao. And increase... Ito normal attack speed and also his attack so both speed and attack based on his defense though for the attack one so the higher his defense the higher Ito the uh, Ito for perform uh, the damage though and in order to get the stacks you need to hit this first and the third strike whenever you are in the burst so compared to this one is only a second and fourth this one is one and third it's even uh, simple and then decrease the Ito elemental physical resonance so yeah, you can take a look in here, the attack bonus is basically based on defense, not from this one. So the higher defense, the stronger attack bonus, blah 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 blah. So yeah, pretty nice. And in here, whenever Arataki use Ito use the Arataki Kasagiri, which is mean the stack charge attack, it will increase the speed and then it can be up to 30 seconds and then the resistance. This one also same, whenever you perform the combo stack one, it will increase also the damage base based on Ito defense. So see, there's a lot of buff from defense, so that's why Ito defense is pretty important in here though. And yeah, for the wood, not really important. Now move to the weapon. So for the weapon, let's start with the five star. Sorry, I don't have five star weapon for uh, uh, claymore because I never have luck in uh, claymore. So the first one I have to recommend is a uh, red hornstone treasure. Of course, that's the weapon made for Ito. It basically you give you critical damage and give you like a uh, uh, kind of buff from the defense also. So that's pretty good. That's the first option. Second one, if you ask me, wolf crimson or skyward red, I would say definitely skyward red because. First, it do need energy recharge, so that's quite convenient also. And like the effect also can uh, give uh, like Ito more to the buff to himself, himself also for the damage. So that's pretty good compared to Wolf Gravestone. Wolf Gravestone still good, but everything is basically based on attack, which is not what it actually Ito need. Ito need in defense, so probably the the, the output will be kind of slightly lower than other characters because other characters still be using attack but this one is your focus on defense so the attack might be not as uh, optimum as uh, other characters so for me uh, the red horn one and the second is cover but the last choice will be uh, wolf grip stone that I uh, give you and then for the four star weapon I will start the one the first one from battle pass that I think always battle pass weapon is always good which is the serpent's mind this gives you critical rate and give you a lot of attack like uh, like kind of five stack whenever every second you will get six uh, percent more damage which is that's very good and then if you can make it refinement five it's already become very strong so that's very good and also like if you don't have this one you can choose the friend very friendly free to play which is the white blind one that's basically based on uh 
the subset based on defense also that's pretty good and the effect was very nice normal charge attack increase the attack and defense by six seconds so it's everything utilized for ito though so that's also very good so for me for the four star it's very easy serpent's mine or white blind white blind's very easy so just choose that if you have though i don't really recommend it for the black cliff one but i just prefer like serpent's mine and uh, a white line so let's start with the artifact sets for the artifact sets there's couple that i can give you choice but of course the one that's very obvious let's start with the husk of opland dreams though so the second that the two piece will give you defense 30 percent which is good it will convert to attack for ito later in the burst and at four piece uh one technically very long but uh, it say like whether you off and on field sometimes you will get stacked and then that stack later will give you six percent uh defense and six percent geo damage which is everything later will turn convert into damage for ito which is very good this one actually very good for ito it, i think specifically for ito <laughs> but if you really don't have that then you can combine which is this two piece of husk of opulent then uh two piece uh, archaic petra if you really don't have or desperate just pair like two piece of husk then two piece of uh, noblesse oblige and i think that's pretty wise it's already okay and here's the result of uh, everything from me I, I have like 56 percent critical rate critical damage and uh, energy recharge though so that uh, now move to the main side but before i go move to the main side like how any how much energy recharge you need though for me like in my knowledge like because he kind of similar with Yula, like have like energy recharge problem for me a wise number for energy recharge for ito should be around 130 until 140 something like that or more something like that especially like uh if you didn't uh, pair with Gio, i think you need like for 140 but if not then 130 it's enough though because below than that maybe ito will have a little bit hard time to get the energy recharge uh, energy back though so yeah that's a little bit consideration that you can take and then move to the main stat of course i will set in here like fix attack in here uh yeah for the this one is sense right yeah sense choose for the defense of course absolutely choose defense don't attack uh in here uh geo damage bonus uh, absolutely and in here it depends again if you need more crit rate than crit rate you need more crit damage than crit damage and this one fix hp and yeah that's it actually i just realized and then now move to the uh substat for the substat uh basically the one that you really need is crit rate crit damage that priority as always after that defense and energy recharge uh prefer will be like more i have more prefer in defense per defense percentage compared uh flat defense so yeah that's what uh, my uh suggestion crit rate crit damage uh defense per percentage energy charge though that's my uh the main subject you just need to focus so yeah for the team com i think it's for it is pretty straightforward because it's kind of really give you direction where you should play like mostly like geo team or mono geo team even like everything is geo uh i didn't know that though uh this is the team that i use actually the first time and i think i like the most where like i have a goro as a buffer jongli as a like defender also and Bennett as a healing kind of kind of team because my goro is not c4 so it, this is kind of healer and buffer also so ito will be main dps in here i don't know it's I don't have to be like jongli you can almost change with ningguang i try also work in abyss sometimes it's kind of better but just like less defensive and you can change albedo but i don't have and albedo can give you a lot of battery and in this one don't have to be banned if you want then you can change with another healer with like chi chi or like kind of kokomi or diona even that can help you though any anything healer that can uh heal them so they don't die and then uh, that you can try also kazua like double 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 animo double geo so he want you pair with one healer which is sayu or you want jin also can and also you may try like uh like another three geo and you feel like kind of oh i have a kind of energy issue can put right in but for me it's just too uh kind of wasted because it's too heavy in one team in abyss you want kind of to separate like kind of more stable so i'm not really fun to bear with right but if you really have crisis in energy then you can other than that in my works shaolin uh, Goro and there's one more. Where's my banana? 
bayonet here like this yeah so yeah pretty much that's it though you, the format is like 3 geo one healer or like this like double double like double geo double pyro or animal something like that after using a lot of ito like this couple hours i can control like in like the review for pros and cons for ito let's start first with the uh, pros so the ito is very fun character in terms of personality also and in terms of gameplay He's very unique, like where you need to do like a uh, normal attack first, get stack and do the very charge attack, strong charge attack and have the unique long combo and that's damn cool and sick, I really like it. And the second is, consider strong DPS, but not broken, okay? For me, the standard of broken is kinda Hu Tao Ganyu and uh, Shang Lim, cause they're just too broken, it's just too far for other DPS to comp compete though. In terms of cons, uh, also, uh, I have to say, Ito need a build up and proper setup because like you know kinda go to the sequence like let's say you move first to a bayonet maybe you have to go to Goro this one and then lastly it's kinda Ito yeah if you manage to do that cycle perfectly it will hit so hard whenever you messed up then yeah all the damage is so messed up and it's moving to the second point where sometimes it can be not Ito can be not convenient though because yeah the first point that I say and also when you do the charge attack the out Sometimes it gives like give the wrong auto target that I hate it, and sometimes it gives like a missing attack. That last one is have hard time with fast moving character and shield enemy. Fast moving character is kind of like the Doko in Spiral Beast. Yeah, it actually struggle in that because yeah, if that Doko keep moving, then you have to retry again because if not, Ito all the Ito setup and everything can be messed up because he keep moving and the burst is wasted. And also shield enemy. And like Abyss Mage, Abyss Lector, or Herald, I think it will have hard time to deal with them though. Oh, moving to the, should you pull or skip it? I have to say, if you, uh, the reason for you pull first, if you need a DPS, if you need DPS, pull for it, and you like kind of play, so pull because I think Ito is strong, so you didn't have to worry. And second is if you like like non-elemental reaction kind of the character stuff like that, because Geo or Mono Animo or physical they're basically no need to think about elements i know some of people really like to play that kind of play style so if you like that pull it i suggest pull because it's a strong the third one is if you like the character i have to say uh, i don't know how many thousand times if you really like character pull it though i think except amber other character can work perfectly and also if you like a complex combo like you need to build like kind of thingy thingy something like that to do the stack and blah 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 and then charge attack same like Eula, then yeah, this is my character that for you though. So I should just to pull. It's more complex than kinda like Huta will just charge attack and like uh first. So yeah, now let's move to the don't pull one or skip it. Why you should skip? First, if you're looking for a simple combo character, I have to say again, it don't need build up, have like stack and combo, something like that. It's not as easy using Xiao Gan or Huta though. Ganyu just needs charge attack, Huta also charge attack first though. But Xiao also just need burst, uh, plunging, plunging, that's it. But Hito is not, you need build up and blah 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 and stuff like combo thing. So if you don't like it, that kind of little bit uh, complicated thing is, I don't suggest to pull it though, it's a little bit troublesome. And second is, if you cannot de deal with build up or set up character where you have to do uh, like uh, kind of specific sequences like you have to do this do this moving to this one go around and blah 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 and move to Ito if you don't kind of cannot stand with that kind of playstyle I don't suggest because Ito really need that build up for shine if you really cannot deal with that then I suggest to skip it so my final word about Ito I would say Ito is very good very strong character especially for geo element that don't have reaction but it's not until like uh, broken level stuff like that and yeah, I have to say it's not necessary all kind of like pass pool character because I've keep telling you that if with main DPS, it is like you choose a main DPS that suit your playstyle because finding a main DPS is easier than like utility character like kind of Kazuha, Bennett, something like that that uh, really help you with almost everything. So yeah, just choose any DPS that match with your playstyle. And if you think Ito one of it, then pull for it there. But yeah. I don't think it's necessary, but overall, it was still very strong. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like, feel free to hit subscribe button and like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.